Bounce. West side, make a bounce right now. Right now. North side, make a bounce right now. Right now. Middle finger to the eyes right now. Is you down for the cops right now? Right now. Bed side, make a bounce right now. Right now. Get the money and we out right now. Right now. We the boys that they want right now. On the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. It's time for comment shout out. <laughs> The first numero uno. First comment shout out goes to my girl, Ose. Like, you already know. I've been told y'all. Every video, she will be down below. Thanks, girl. I appreciate your support always. The second comment shout out, number two, goes out to my girl, Efi. Okay, she's becoming a regular too. We sisters need to stand together, okay? <laughs> I really appreciate all of your comments what is good everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video this one right here i'm going to do an instagram q a i know it's been a while since i've been able just to like turn on the camera and talk to y'all and i was like why not do that i mean i haven't done that since my get to know me tag so i was like let's get it okay let's do it i was actually surprised about some of the questions y'all asked me about i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability you know but i do keep it real so best believe i'm going to be giving y'all some gems as i must say so you already know if you think the melanin is popping you know what to do you gotta keep on watching okay y'all let me see what i got let me see what i got so the first question one of y'all asked me on here are you in a relationship i'm not in a relationship no i'm not i am single but i am dating those are two completely different things so no i'm not in a relationship what's next on the list hey what's next on the list hey. what is your favorite rap or hip-hop album well whoever wrote this must have watched my get to know me video when i said that i love hip-hop music gosh there's so many i'm not putting them in any order these are just ones that are coming to mind and this puts so much pressure on me because I cannot pick one and I'm the worst when it comes to like decision making and picking just one. So I'm just gonna name a few. Doesn't mean there's not more to this, okay? Like Drake's comeback season, J. Cole, Friday Night Lights comes first to mind. Kanye West, Late Registration, Jay-Z, American Gangster, Kendrick to Pimp a Butterfly, to me, To Pimp a Butterfly is way better than Damn. In my opinion, y'all can argue about it, but I love To Pimp a Butterfly. I just love it so much. It's definitely underrated. What's next on the list? <laughs> Would you date a Nigerian? <laughs> okay, so my Instagram following, I do have a lot of like, people that live in Nigeria that actually follow me <laughs> and that like to like my pictures. So I appreciate all of y'all for showing the support. Of course, I date a Nigerian. I am Nigerian. I have dated a Nigerian before, so it's, I'm not. It's, I'm not new to this. Okay, I'm not new to this. All right, next question. <laughs> Who are better, Ebo or Yoruba guys? Nigerian guy that I dated was Ebo. Yoruba guys, I would, I would never know, but I've heard about Yoruba demons. <laughs> I don't know why they're called that. I haven't really got put into a depth like conversation about that. All I know is that that's the nickname that they give Yoruba men. Um, so I don't know. I mean, that kind of scares me a little bit. That kind of scares me a little bit. So I don't know which is better. Um, I can only go by my experience and I dated an Igbo man and it was interesting. I couldn't say if it was good or bad. It's kind of in the middle. So what's next? Where are you working now? You know who asked this question? Um, I can't disclose that information. I cannot put where I'm working on here. And on top of that, I don't want to because you know, people are crazy. On the list, what's next? <laughs> where are you from? I am from Washington, Washington State. No, not Washington, D.C., Washington State. Evergreen State is where I'm at. What's next on the list? What's next? This person asked me, do you got games on your phone? 
You got games on your phone? Um, no, I don't have games on my phone. I used to have games on my phone, but not no more. What's next on the list? Hey, what's next on the list? Hey, what's next on the list? Hey! <laughs> oh, this person is mad mad. <laughs> I love you, girl. I know who asked this question. Well, I know everyone who asked the questions, but I personally know this person that asked this question. They were like, niggas ain't shit, right? Right? I have my own theories on these things we call niggas. Um, like the sweet Kaylani said with her beautiful voice and vocals. Niggas. Don't always see niggas. <laughs> And groups of all killers have their flaws but since I've only dated the niggas okay honestly I don't want to group all of them into one because I know stereotypes and all that are bad you should not group one whole individual character group together but the way these men, these men move, it just ain't right sometimes. I have my personal experience and I have a personal experience going on right now. You know who you are. But I just feel like the games is real sometimes, especially when it comes to defining what this thing is going on between you and I or you and them, you know? it can get quite complicated men in general are just very indecisive they like to eat their cake and have it too that's one thing you cannot do you cannot have that and a lot of men want that it just is just too much honestly like when it comes to dating our day and age of dating is quite different to what our parents definitely experienced. People were more willing back then to date, to marry, and have that in mind, like, yeah, I want to marry this person. This is who I want a future with. I don't want to believe Miss Kaylani, but I had plenty of examples where men, these niggas, have proved Kehlani correct. So, like I said, I'm not here to generalize. That is one thing we do not want to do is generalize. But, I mean. Okay, next question. I feel like I've elaborated enough. <laughs> What's next on the list? <laughs> Such a coincidence. Wow, this next question goes in hand with the previous one I just answered. It reads, it says, do you believe people our age can still have monogamous relationships? I find it interesting that y'all are asking me about relationship advice because I don't think I'm the best person to come to. Well, <laughs> I want to say, yeah, that monogamy is still alive. I've seen it. I do see people that are thriving in relationships and monogamy. I have one couple in my head right now, but I feel like it has to do with if people are in the right mind state. I feel like people in their 20s, they really are just trying to figure themselves out. The 20s are an interesting time for you to get into a serious relationship. I'm not saying early 20s, of course, like, come on now. Like, who are we playing? Like, only a few people nowadays get into serious, committed relationships in their early 20s. By your late 20s, your early 30s, you need to start thinking about this word called monogamy, okay? And relationships. Anyway, to sum up the whole answer, I feel like, yes, people can be in monogamous relationships you know kudos to you okay if you are in a committed relationship and you're happy what's next uh, uh, what's next uh, uh. <laughs> how did you get into makeup well i've always enjoyed makeup honestly like i have flashbacks 
of being in elementary school and used to literally buy lip smackers bonnie bell all of that like kid like type makeup and then we'd like trade them amongst each other to slang that lip smackers okay watermelon cherry cotton candy lip gloss and be like okay you give me the cotton candy and i'll give you the watermelon or like you give me two the cotton candy and the watermelon and i'll give you the um cherry and the kiwi okay <laughs> i was super into it i've always been into makeup anything like that i do have a picture if i can i'll insert it into this video of me when i was younger around that age holding a barbie little makeup kit and yeah that was my pride and joy when i used to make like little necklaces out of paper okay <laughs> Paper mache on fleek, okay? So rock that necklace and wear this makeup. And I had this little bag that my grandma knitted for me that I used to put all my like cherished makeup and belongings. And then as I got older, I got a job at MAC and I worked there for a little bit since. So yes, makeup has always been in me. And on top of that, yes, you should be confident without it, but makeup, you know, is a little bit of an enhancer, okay? And I just enjoy it, I enjoy it a lot, so. It's my passion. Okay, my passion. Next on the list. Hey, what's next on the list? Bro, you are fire. Eh, okay, that's not really a question, but thank you. You're fire too. Flames of that inferno. Okay, that's what you are. An inferno. <laughs> I'm so corny, y'all. Oh my god. Next question. What gave you the courage to start a YouTube? I've been watching YouTube for such a long time and I was always kind of scared to start YouTube because I was like, I don't know, I'm not, if I'm good enough, people are gonna like my content, if I'm even good at what I do. So, you know, self-doubt ensued. You know what really gave me courage? Watching my favorite YouTubers and the, how like candid they were and just like, they're just regular people doing their thing and showcasing it on this platform. So I was like, you know what? I can do that too. I can do that. So I finally, after all the self-doubt and all of that, decided, let me go for it. I'm so happy I did because YouTube has provided me with an outlet that I love. It gives me something that I can do outside of my nine to five, um, outside of my job that I really enjoy. I needed a creative outlet. And this is what YouTube is for me. So I'm really grateful for that. But I got the courage to start my YouTube channel by just taking out the self doubt and thinking I'm not good enough and just actually doing it. Like Nike says, just do it, okay? okay? And that's what you just need to do to anyone that is trying to start a YouTube channel. Just do it, do it. What, like, are you scared that people are judging you? Are you scared that you're not good enough? Honestly, who are they anyway? And who is your self doubt? Nobody, okay? Just take your self doubt, hit that three, throw it in the trash and start your YouTube, like why not? What's holding you back? Not a thing. Trust me, starting a YouTube is not as scary as people make it seem, honestly. The only thing about it that you know I could live without is the editing. With learning new editing techniques comes more time that it takes for you to edit your video. But, anywho, <laughs> just do it. Okay, so this question, I like, see, I like stuff like this, I like it, and, but they want me to finish this line from I Know, one of my favorite Jay-Z songs from American Gangster, the album. They put here, cold sweats occur when I'm out with her, okay, and they want me to finish the line after that it goes cold sweats occur when i'm out with her my presence is a must 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 bonita apple bomb i gotta put you on if we wouldn't we'd be cutting the feeling would be too strong hey i can keep on going too y'all form i'm giving you sweet dreams that sugar hill she called me her sweet thing that black rain will take away the pain for just for one night don't you take me in vain then got you tripping you don't want to feel no different got that list that got you itching nose wide open and it's dripping uh, 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 i know what you like i know what you need i'm your physician i'm your addiction oh. and i know, I know. <laughs> 
what's next on the list? <laughs> next question is what camera do you use? The camera that I use is the Canon SL2, it's a mini DSLR. I like it, it's not too big, it's not too clunky. The last question is, are you working out still? Yes, I am. I am working out still. You know, I'm almost at my goal, y'all. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I work out and do all that down below to achieve this goal. And I do plan on keeping this as a lifestyle change. Like, I ain't going back. So yeah, let me know down below. And that concludes my Instagram Q&A. Thank you all for watching and making it to the end of this video right here. I had so much fun answering your questions. I really like doing talk videos because I, I just like talking. <laughs> you know, why not put my mouth to good use and you know, answer y'all's questions. Make sure you like, okay, you like this video. I know you want to, I know you want to, I know you want to like this video. Most of all y'all, subscribe subscribe please i'm almost at 100 subscribers so you know why not help your girl out help me reach 100 subscribers so then we can grow from 100 then 1000 then 10,000 then 20 then 50 so yeah tap or click that subscribe button down below and i will see you in my next video peace Hey, you gotta subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the new shit's out. You already know. Get on this. Get on this. Hey, hey. Pride's gonna be death to me. Hold up. Wait, you know you gotta guard your energy. You can't match my pedigree. Now you gotta pay a fee. This ain't free. What you need? Go, go.